in our last video we are doing a program of class scope so here it is there are some errors in this program now i corrected it so let's see it works or not it's a location of java c and the program name is uh, scope dot java class file generated so it has the output scope can be nested for example if each time you create a block of code you are creating a new nested scope so when this occurs the outer scope encloses the inner scope this means that object declared in the outer scope will visible to the code within the inner scope however the reverse is not true objects declared within the inner scope will not be visible outside so uh, to understand the effect of nested scope this program is here so uh, our next program we will do in netbeans so here is the program in this uh, public class lifetime but there is a spelling mistake so don't worry about it so let's see so here is uh, it's a variable are created when there is scope is entered and destroyed when there is scope is left so this means that a variable will not hold a value once has it has gone out of scope therefore the variable declared within a method will not hold their values between the calls to that method also a variable declared within a block will lose its value when the block is left so thus the lifetime of variable is confined to its scope if a variable declaration include a initializer then that variable will be reinitialized each time the block in which it is declared is entered for example is here is this program and i run this program and the output is here it's successful so output is y is equal to 1 minus 1 here is minus 1 and then is 100 so it's built successful so let's do another program here and we will take the program of class conversion so let's see class conversion so we will take the name conversion and package the same project conversion oh has a spelling mistake so let's release this file so it's it's a name so don't worry about the spelling here so public static void main string always as is capital here then byte is b we want to read about the literals uh, the another playlist is uh, java you can go there and the, see the theory part of java and see what are literals and their types in this uh, channel you can see go in the playlist of java and int we are taking i equal to two files then double is 3 to 3 
then system dot out by doing this all programs now you can understand the the value of system dot out println we are using it for printing whatever you write here it will be printed so system dot out println what should we write here conversion of into byte conversion of int to byte then go to next one b is equal to byte in netbeans you can see there it will show your all mistakes or giving you a hint it's but it's very helpful for you but my recommendation is to do in a cmd uh, command if you are starting because you have to be independent in your work without if you can do your programs without any hint it will be very good for you then la next we are copying in you you don't want need to copy you have to type it program don't forget to use semicolon and here is conversion of double into int double conversion of double to int before we can write here another and here is i and b i and b and out of that then plus b and and here is the semicolon i int d
we don't need to write here this so then d and this is n conversion double to byte double to byte then b dnb dnb And here is plus B. And so let's see where what is the error here? Public static void me. We have to and double so you can click here and see not statement expected here is D The error is removed now and int so it's also removed now system dot print alone D is correct conversion of double to byte oh is the error here expected oh we forgot to put here semicolon now program is correct so let's run the program you can use the command shift F plus f6 for running program is successful so let's see the output conversion of double to int is so our first print statement is conversion of int to byte so here is i and b 2571 and conversion of uh, double to int here is d and this is So then conversion of double to byte, this is. So program is successful now. So let's do another program. And what it is. The type of promotion, promotion rules. 
so the following program demonstrates the next program is each value in the system gets promoted match and second argument to each binary operator so let's see what it is new java class so let's see here the class so we are taking promote class so our next program is here public static void main you have to write here now go to here and here is byte char byte is equals to 42 and char is short s one zero two four then int i is fifty thousand we are taking fifty thousand here and float float is 5.67 f then double this one and now result double results double result f into b then we are adding this i oblique c I divided by C then minus D into S then system dot out print And what we have to print? Print here result. Then there's no error, so we can now run this program. We have to first close it. Close all the program here. Sh 
shift plus x let's use shift plus f6 why it's not running Not showing the run. So let's delete all this. Now try to run, I think it will, oh, so it's run is it? Program is built successful and here is the result is 6, 2 and this is this one. So we will do in our next video arrays in NetBeans.